This is the presenter search on three, proudly brought to you by NetBank. Tonight, we wing it to the friendly city of Port Elizabeth. In one big day at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, we hope to find the face, the look and the talent that just loves the camera. Who will woo and wow the judges to win coveted presenting spots in three SABC3 shows? With nine places already taken in the national top 30, three presenters will be selected to join them by Jeannie D and Fat Joe. While the winners will go on to launch their careers as presenters, two lucky NetBank account holders stand a chance of enjoying a luxury holiday for two in exotic Zanzibar. With 25,000 rand spending money from NetBank and flights courtesy of Mango. Just SMS the keyword DREAMS and send a short creative message describing your idea of a dream island experience to 33728. That's 33728. SMS what your dream island experience is to 33728 to enter this competition and make things that really matter happen. The presenter search on three has come to Port Elizabeth. The windy city. No, no, not today. Today the sun's out and it's the friendly city. Either way, I just know PE contestants are going to blow us away. Right, guys? <laughs> You were at the Cape Town auditions and now you're in PE. Why the decision to come and audition again? Well, we feel like the, audition, the first audition wasn't as good as it should be, so this time we better prepared. Yes, yeah? yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Got so much prepared. Okay, so you learn things from the first Absolutely. and you're going to put it into practice in the oh, second. Yes, oh, yeah. I love it. All the best, guys. Oh. Okay, so you're going to blow the judges away with oh. your look and then you're going to nail them with that leg. <laughs> that double whammy. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and the hair, it's also a good luck charm. I had to stand out, you therefore to stand. I dyed my hair blonde. It looks so much better than it awesome. did on me. Okay, well, my initial plan was my link is yeah. like I'm one of the correspondents for Expresso. Yeah. Then I'll be presenting for the made for the mix, you know, nice. kind of team. So hence the outfit. Well, listen, you look incredible. All the best. Can't wait to Thank see you. what your audition holds. Hey. Thank you so much. Wow. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I'm here with Mr. PE 2013 and 2014. Guys, how are you? Doing good and good. <laughs> Andre, you are no stranger to competition. What are you going to bring to your audition? Hopefully, some excitement, a bit of a surprise. Keep the judges on their toes and. Hope you'll enjoy it. But I think what the nation wants to know is, will we be seeing you guys lose these shirts? We might, we might Maybe. give a sneak peek. Maybe. We might. Awesome. Contestants had the best of both worlds. Dan, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about what I'm seeing in these crowds today. I'm so impressed with PE. They look amazing. They've dressed up for the occasion. I hope they've brought their A game. But the question is, how are they going to handle that audition room? That's another story entirely. Uh-huh. NetBank's Cool Lounge was the ultimate chill-out zone for jittery hopefuls about to face the first round judges. Yeah, back in 2012, I was not this lucky. I had to sit for nine hours in a stadium chair. So this is a real luxury way to do it. It definitely is. And if you are waiting hours and hours for an audition, well, then this is the savvy way to do it. Contestants dressed to impress and trusted NetBank's makeup artists to make the best of their features. The cameras were about to get up close and personal. I've heard from everyone else here that you are called the selfie king, is that true? Yes, I love capturing moments. It's all about the angle. What is your best side of your face? Both sides. Oh really? Wow, then you're lucky. Uh, okay, so then we just Let's take another one. Okay. Agree with me on uh, that Jonathan, why don't yeah. you move more that way? This side? Like this. Uh, a little more? Perfect, just the two of us. <laughs> why the move from being in a death metal band to wanting to be a presenter? Need that world stage, this is what I'm all about now. Not this tiny stage, looking for the world stage. Everybody needs to witness me now. Okay, well, no one's gonna miss this look, let me tell you that. One thing I've always wanted to learn how to do was how to do head banging properly, and I think I have the expert in front of me. You do indeed. Okay, so <laughs> shall we whip my hair back and forth, whip my hair back and forth? Shall we do it? Yes, okay, cool. Okay. Lesson one Imagine some guys holding your head, but ready to snap it off. Sounds painful. It does sound right. painful, it is sometimes. <laughs> Alright, okay, shall we go for it? Off first? Okay. Three, two, one. I want my hair back and butter with my hair back and butter with my hair. Why does the industry need someone like you right now? We need something fresh, you know, something original. And, I mean, I don't think we should wait for America to always set trends for us, I mean. It says here you are an intelligent transgender girl. Yes, I am. Living in Guguletu, and you're a big dreamer. I am. Wow. Yeah. I was top achiever, magic class 
2013. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I want to ask about living in Google Asia. Do you feel pressure from the community to try and conform? Is is there a stigma against you because uh, of being transgender? What? No, not really. Um, people who don't know me wouldn't know, but then people who know me don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. right. You know, because I've never really had felt like I was being discriminated against in Google Etu, yeah. the way I live and everything. Mm -hmm. So, and my family is pretty protective of me. So, yeah. I just love your attitude and your. <laughs> yeah. Drive. Drive, mm. determination to succeed. Yeah. And I think whatever happens from this moment next to that cross, I think your future yeah. is really bright as long as you have the vision to make it what you want. I think that's really, really admirable about you. Wow. Hello, and welcome to tonight's edition of Top Deck. Do I restart again? I'd love Go to. Go back. What, what Go that? back. Because Top Deck is the new lifestyle show. It's kind of like a dear head. Oh, it's right. presented oh, yeah. called uh, Life on Deck, where it's presented on, deck. on the ocean. Oh. We're oh, right. on the deck where guests come over to the deck and we have like. Nice. Okay, no, no. okay, okay, now, okay, we, okay now. okay, now we know. So this yeah, is a good concept for a show. It is a very good concept for a show. I want royalties. <laughs> oh, oh. Royalties. Commanding 10% already. Find <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll take 5%. All right. All right. Death metal rocker Dominic Lowe wears his heart on his sleeve and his voice is his fortune. People have a certain perception about metalheads as in the fact that we are the people who will burn down houses and which is a lie. We're normal people. We, we drink beer in bars like everybody else. We're a bunch of nerds. We read comic books. We play online games. That's, that's what we do. We don't actually do anything dangerous except for skateboarding and in the rain and falling all over your face. <laughs> That's, the, that's basically the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> All of my tattoos have personal meanings behind them. So this one is personal to me. This is Jeremiah. It's my favorite chapter in the Bible. At the back of my neck, I have Amen, which was the last thing I heard my grandfather say before he passed away. Uh, my ribs, I have two angels, which represent true love in my personal stand of true love. I've got vampires ashing in the sun. Also, I've got a whole sternum piece dedicated to music. I've got my claw dash, which is like the uh, Irish symbol for love, loyalty, and friendship. So yeah. Oh yes, and I have finger tattoos as well. <laughs> I have uh, Xbox and PlayStation buttons tattooed on my, on my fingers because I'm a nerd. I told my mother, one day uh, I'm going to have piercings everywhere. And yeah, so I'm, still I'm still going for more piercings. <laughs> I can make friends with anyone, literally anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, you'll, you'll get to love me. This is quite a look. Oh my gosh. So there's like a bit of a reflection coming from your mouth. How many piercings do you have? Uh, probably five, six, seven. Eight. <laughs> wow. Do those not disturb you when you, when you need to speak? No, not at all. Why wow. did you get them here, though? I've never seen anything like it. Um, I don't know. Pure boredom, I suppose. <laughs> and because I could, I don't know. <laughs> Extreme wow. boredom. Oh. All right, well, let's hear you do your link. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Expresso. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going to be interviewing one of the coolest Cape Town bands ever, the Kiffness. They are playing here today. I'm just going to check if they're not ready. Um, they're almost ready to play. Oh, yep, that's them. Okay, cool, guys. Here we have it up. The Kiffness, everyone. Yes! Come on. Please, give us, here we go. <laughs> Tell me about the teddies hanging. Uh, okay, there. yeah, these, these, I call them the bare essentials. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Are you from P? Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah, I am wow. from here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was so weird. <laughs> to help sort the buff from the boykies in the first round of auditions was Mr. South Africa 2014, Armand Duplessis. Welcome to, to the interview. Thank you, um, thank you. I see you were Mr. P last year. I was indeed. Um, I know the current Mr. P was yes. I'm kind of the expired, the Oprah, Mr. P. <laughs> <laughs> well, well if Oprah looked like that, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind Oprah any day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Top billing. Good evening and welcome. I'm Peter Maybeck and tonight I'll be telling you a touching story about my life. So here I go. Peter Maybeck picked a pickle. Peter Marburg picked a pick. Sorry, guys, I'm so sorry. Yeah, he picked, he picked Have you picked a pick? You're about to make the bar. I'm gonna blow you away, I promise I will blow you away. I will blow you away. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Peter Marburg picked a pickle. Peter Marburg picked a pick of pickled peppers. If, yeah. Take off the top, stand on the X, take off the top, then deliver the link. I think that could possibly 
Allow English you girlfriend. to do it better. Just let you relax. Let you know, you need be, to just be yeah. in the zone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think that that's worked for many in the past. <laughs> Do you want to do some push-ups as well? Just to you, want, you want me to do some push-ups? Push up. I'm just trying to help you okay. just relax a lot more. Help you in your help space. Her. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I never thought it was going to come like this way, but it's fun. Cool. We are now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Top belling. Good evening and welcome for the fourth time. I am Peter Meiberg and tonight I'll be telling you a touching story about my life. No, the touching story is not now that my shirt is off. But here it goes. Peter Meiberg picked a peck of pickled pebbles. If a pick of pickled peppers Peter Mybrook picked, oh, my word. <laughs> I told you to do push ups before. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. Pumping those endorphins. No, no, okay. listen, as long as you I tried to go big yeah. and go home and I went kind of home. <laughs> <laughs> PE auditions are in full swing. Are we going to find the next famous face in Port Elizabeth? <laughs> well, stay tuned <laughs> to find out. Now you stay there. Next stop on Presenter Search on 3. More fumbling and bumbling, but with a dash of designer flair. SMS what your dream island experience is to 33728 to enter. We're back for auditions at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Show jumping isn't exactly the skill that comes to mind when you think of a potential presenter. Yes, let me, yeah, it's very important to be able to jump and present at the same time. No, Jonathan, I'm not talking about TV shows. I'm talking about horses. I knew that. Meet equestrian master Michael Blom. Now here's someone who really jumped at the chance to audition. When it comes to training, do you train the horse or do you train the rider? Well, it's a combination of both. I train horses in the morning and then I coach people to ride those horses in the afternoons. So you're a world-class show jumper. Does it give you the confidence to become a presenter? Absolutely. When I'm in the ring, I'm under pressure and I've got to keep my cool. I've got a minute and a half in there and I've got to keep it cool, calm, collected, but I've got to hit my mark and I've got to do it well. Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of Top Billing. My name is Michael Blom and I'll be your host this evening. You might recognize me from Instagram, although I'm too beer short of a six pack. I'm a show jumper by day. I spend my afternoons coaching children the art of the equestrian world. And by night, you'll find me practicing the art of wooing East London's finest. Jonathan, you've been here before. How do you think the auditions are going at this point? It's difficult to say, Liam, but we know that there's going to be some good, mm -hmm. some bad, and yeah. some just plain weird. Who is this guy in all these pictures over here? Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Say yes! Yes. <laughs> Give me louder. <laughs> and I was like, yes. where's the personality? Give me louder. Yes. More! Yes! Come on! Yes! Here we go. Hello viewers out there. I'm your host, Nomfio Connelly Yekele. It's that time again to bring you another episode of Top Billing. Good morning, Zanzi. This is Tree Talk, the show that brings you close to your favorite celebrities. So I am I'll be I'll be with you with I'll be with you for the next 60 minutes, so stay tuned. Don't, you don't want to miss this out. I'm going to be with you for the next 60 minutes. Imagine watching the 60 minutes. Yo, Tabisa. Oh, wow. A five-star beauty treatment at one of the most exotic um, safari lodge. Sorry, that was so horrible. Do I wait for if there's going to be callbacks or anything? If you will Yeah, if there are callbacks, you'll have them by by 10 o'clock tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Guys, I'm very bad at answering my phone. Mm. If you do call, please, please, can you just like leave a message? Please. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank so you. Yeah, please call me. Right. Thank okay. you. <laughs> and, and, and an email. Where's Leanne? Have you, have you guys seen Leanne? Uh, no? 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 She's probably flirting again. <laughs> I'm just going to have to spend time with her picture. Contestant Cherie Govender has just opened her own bridal boutique. Cherie, hello. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Thank you. From radio to owning your own bridal boutique, what prompted the move? I'm very much a girly girl, so I really wanted to go into a little bit of a different direction for a short period of time. I also went away for a bit, so I thought coming back, I'd just explore something else and see where it took me. Well, talking about trying, that dress right there is calling my name. Can I try it on? Absolutely. Yes! Come to Mama. <laughs> I love it. See you later. Ta-da! It is stunning. <laughs> Do you like it? Thank you. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You look stunning. 
Well, I must say you've done a fantastic job here. So much so that I would like to try on another one. How about this one? Perfect. Oh, awesome. Thank you. See you in a little bit. Mm. Cherie, this dress is everything. I love it. It's soft yet spectacular all at the same time. You're like Port Elizabeth's best kept secret. Why did you decide to settle down here? PE is an incredible place. It's a great place to refocus and to rejuvenate. I think PE also has a lot of hidden treasures, which is why I actually believe that our next presenter is for sure going to come from here. Well, Cherie, I definitely think I found the one. Talking about the one, Jonathan, what do you think? Should I say yes? to the dress. <laughs> oh, yeah, the end and that I'm actually blushing. Let me just uh, just cut for now. I can't remember my lines. Oh, the end and that dress should make even the most experienced presenter stumble over their lines and blush. So let's hope the contestants are doing a bit better in the audition rooms. All right, Mr. Lionel Miller. Yes. All right. I'm interested yeah. in the selfie. A serial, a serial selfie taker. <laughs> they, they say so. <laughs> well, come, let's take a selfie. Yeah, come. perfect. Everybody loves a good hey, selfie. Okay. Right, we're ready. Whoa, look at that. Hey, that's an angle. Have you got it? Have you seen I'm not sure I trust oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at that. Hey. Oh, that is wow. amazing. That's it's really super hot. You've got that angle perfectly. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Breathe. <laughs> Having a baby? <laughs> Here we go. I have How never seen that before and I haven't had any kids. It's it activates the diaphragm. Does it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I see that you're a fan of The Lord of the Rings. I am indeed. Oh, okay. we need to do all the accents. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Well, yeah. I can't do all the accents. The Lord of the Rings accents there was Smeagol. Smeagol, that oh. was. Let's go. Um, I do it in different languages. That oh. was my oh. nice. So I can do an Afrikaans and a Kosa one. Wow. Oh, they, okay. well, go in. Well, <laughs> Schmiegel doesn't want this. Why do they do this to me? Go, go. The hobbits are stupid hobbits. They don't want this for me. No, they want it for the precious. That, my <laughs> man, is so good. Thank you very much. <laughs> do you, I, I just have this picture of him doing this at home, like on oh, his yes. own. Uh, <laughs> my dogs like, are quite yeah. frightened. <laughs> All right, and then you do, you do one in Kosa as well. Yes, I try. My goodness. Herbertses, Herbertses, and the funeral process, and the funeral process. Pam, pam, Herbertses, pam, pam. Butter, butter, and the Herbertses. Ah, so, Mr. Eugenios Cosana. Yes. All right, well, I'm looking at your look. You've got the package look. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to see your, your link that you prepared for us. You should take your job seriously, but not yourself. That is the perfect combination. This is what seasoned and multi-award winning actress Dame Judi Dench said when she was asked about her career. If you ask me, that's fantastic advice. Good evening and welcome to Top Billing. I'm Eugenius Cosana and I'll be your host. We have a wonderful lineup for you folks tonight. But first up, let's see what Judi D has in store for us in the kitchen with Nigella Lawson. Listen, mate, you pretty much knocked it out the park <laughs> the first time. All right, okay, thank, thank you very much. You. Okay, bye. Professional entertainer Michael Matebe matched his personality to his outfit, made just for the day. I know that you'll be going somewhere to perform. I have this brilliant idea of Wade Nature, where I'll be using the nature's platforms into incorporating into your garment, man. And this is the kind that of a silhouette that I have. A silhouette that will look like you have wide hips, like African pot. Okay. It's, 3D, it's awesome, it's structural, it's bold, it matches your personality. With this outfit, the judges will be blown away. Love it. I met him back in 2013. He was performing in, in a beauty pageant for, for the university. So from then, he asked me if one day I should consider him as my model. So I was like, I would think about it. If you wear something daring, then it says something about you as a person and your personality and what differentiates you from the crowd. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. That's a statement. Good. Got the attention of the wow. judges. <laughs> I went to Sarah Batman route. Uh, <laughs> Sarah Batman inspired, yeah? Wow. Did you dress, do you dress yourself or do you have a designer? No, I have a designer. 
I perform, so he dresses me for whenever, if, let's say, I have a performance, anything like that. You're an entertainer? I like, sing. Okay, ah, yeah. okay cool. Sing, yes. okay. Okay, now we want to hear you sing, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. You say I'm crazy, but you don't think I know what you've done. Goodbye, sweet lovers, it's time to go. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I hate to leave. You, but I really must go. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I'll see you tomorrow. The years go right dress. So good goodbye, night, sweet loves. Good goodbye. <laughs> the talent had flocked from the length and breadth of the garden route to impress us in Port Elizabeth. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Wow, Jano, it seems like the friendly city has returned to being the windy city. It's back to being windy, but it's awesome that the weather held out for our contestants. And it's been a fantastic day. Absolutely, but what a grueling day of auditions. And now we just hold thumbs for the contestants and really excited for the callbacks. I know. You, sir, were awesome today. No, but you are awesome. No, no, no. You were awesome. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Coming up, with the first phase of auditions done, a select few callbacks will face the critical eye of the judges. Just a reminder of what's up for grabs for our three lucky winners. Not only will they walk away with presenting jobs on SABC3, each winner will get to drive a luxury Mercedes-Benz to their shoots for a year. And because a presenter needs to look stylish at all times, what better way than a 50,000 Rand Woolworths gift card to take care of all your fashion needs? The best time to drive the new C-Class is now. Callback time for Presenter Search on 3 was held at a spectacular beachside hotel in Port Elizabeth. The second rounders faced two tough judges who've done their time on TV. You could say it's out of the fat and into the fire as glam Genie D and straight talking Fat Joe grill the hopeful few. Leon, this is where the magic happens or doesn't happen because it's PE callbacks. <laughs> if you've done well enough to make it this far, this is where the nerves really start. You've got the lights. You got these faces to look at, but there's no Bonang today. I know, because usually we have three judges, but today we have one and a half. The reason why I say half is Jeannie's lost her voice. Jeannie, how are you feeling? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's three judges. There's two of me. I know. <laughs> very silent. I but hold on, before you ask any questions, what do you think of their performance? You loved it. Oh, I love it. I think Joe is in his element right now. No one is actually contesting anything that yeah. he says. Hated it. Girls, <laughs> Hated it. Hated it. Thank you. <laughs> you, my friend, are going to have to work super hard, but you guys are doing a fantastic job. What are you looking for when it comes to the PE contestants today? We're looking for that special PE je ne sais quoi, you know? We're just looking for a special talent, a new voice, a new face, a new personality. Any voice. Yeah. <laughs> She's a hot name in radio, but could the camera be her calling card? Hello. Tony Williams, how are you? Um, well, thanks, and yourself? Very good, nice to meet you. Perform for us what you've uh, put together. Media was meant for me, and today I believe that I will walk away knowing something much bigger in radio and TV and the media industry and what it has to offer within Port Elizabeth. So to you who have come to Port Elizabeth, I believe that today you will find your winner. <laughs> All right, I like it. Improv, I like you. I don't know. I improv. like you. Too. Did you improvise that? Was I it? You made that up. It. You go, girl. It's you, you dramatic get a high five. arts. Yeah, you get. You, you brought her voice back. You are so cute. <laughs> wow, and you look wonderful on camera as well. You know. Oh, Not to say you don't in person, but on camera you look really thank great. Thank you very yeah. much. So as you can see, I'm a lover of shoes and bags. I have over 50 pairs of shoes, and that's just in my living room. Hollywood has its J-Lo. We have our Jade Lee, who packs just as much of a wow factor. Her friends call her Nobushe, which is beautiful in Kasa, but perhaps it should be beautiful. Her wardrobe is really a shoe hotel, where her high-yield guests have celebrity clout. Jade Lee. Yes, Nobushe. Oh, Nobushe. Mam Nebe. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I understand that you, you do a number of things. You studied journalism and media. Yeah. You play trumpet and drums. Yes. And you collect shoes. 
I love shoes. I broke my ankle three months ago, and today I'm wearing heels. So you broke your ankle because of a pair because of shoes you were wearing? Because of a pair of shoes, yeah. Yeah, what, what were they like? <laughs> they were still little. Huh? Even though the pain is killing me, but it's going to be okay. Well, give it to us. Okay. I'm 27 years of age, and I'm from Umtata in the Eastern Cape. I speak three additional languages, Portuguese, Afrikaans, and Xhosa, which helps me have meaningful conversations. I'm a reporter during the day, an aspiring model, and a musician in my spare time. What do you You're think? so brilliant at everything that you do, but your voice, the way um, your, your link came across, is very news reportery. So, as a journalist, you disconnect yourself from the story, it seems. Whereas here, I feel like you have to connect with the story. You're telling something that you're passionate about uh, to somebody who you feel needs to hear it, and that's the difference. You should be on TV, but then stick to news TV. Or trumpet, or drums. <laughs> Lerato Tipa's hardly camera shy. She's a seasoned TV reporter and a fitness fanatic. Exercising for me is more of a lifestyle. I think that if you look good, you feel good. And I think that more than just trying to be thin and be the thin it girl, I think it's about having a healthy lifestyle so that I can live up to 100 years old, truly speaking. To win the presenter search will mean that a young, another young girl from Amtata, from Bishop, from East London can look at me and say that if Lerato can do it, then so can I. It's been really great talking to you, but I'm not even way through half of my gym. So see you later. Back to gym. Hello, Lerato. Hi. Give us what you've uh, prepared for today. If I'm not on the podium inspiring people to reach their fullest potential, then I'm blogging on the current hairstyle trends as the new So So Fab brand ambassador. A future TV presenter, I know that image is everything. So kickboxing, cycling, and a whole lot of squats have now become a lifestyle. So, the voiceless one, what do you think? <laughs> I think you were fantastic. And considering all the other news journalists that we've had sound like news journalists, you've broken away from that. I noticed you laughed, <clears throat> but it was a fake laugh. You were like, <laughs> like... I hate that. No, I said I do kickboxing, cycling, and a whole lot of squats. Oh, so... <laughs> to just try to make it humorous. Oh, so to like, okay. uh, Yeah, to just try to say kickboxing, cycling, and a whole lot of squats. Right, oh, I get you, I get you. Just be as real as possible. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Hello, Gugu. Hello, Richard. Hi, Jenny. Yes. Um, I understand that you studied drama. Yes, I did. This is not drama, this is reality. Why would you want to do reality when you study drama? You have a degree in drama. Yeah, I have a degree in drama. Oh. I think I actually have a passion for entertaining, really. Okay, give us your performance. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's show. You are in the great, gracious, gaiety, yet gregarious company of Gugu Pandle, straight from East London. Do not move an inch, as Lady G is here to take good care of you. I ran out of breath there, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's me. I'm oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Take your breath away. <laughs> um, I, I thought that was polished, that was smooth, that was slick, but that's obviously your drama coming out. That okay. was fake. Okay. Because it, it felt like a performance. It didn't uh -huh. feel like you talking to me. Yeah, it was just too much of a performance. What'd you think? Okay, all the same. Yes. And as an actress, you shouldn't have run out of breath. Yes, of course. I should have taken I didn't a deep know one that. before. Mm -hmm. She's very correct. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Um, I would say probably stick to acting. Okay. Yeah. Tanani, you were very vague in your uh, profile. Why were you so vague? Yeah, we asked what makes you interesting, and you said you'll find out. What yeah. are you going to find out? Okay, what makes me interesting? I'm very talkative and outspoken. Sometimes that can work against me because. I only talk so much because I like to know what people are thinking. So if people aren't saying anything, I'd rather say something. And you know what I'm talking about? I hope I'm not babbling, but... You're babbling. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah, okay. It's you okay. said nothing. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you said. <laughs> but okay. So show us what you've got. A young man born and raised mostly in the Eastern Cape who fell in love with entertainment from the youngest of ages, from doing some work in high school plays as a lead uh, and working with the likes of uh, Texas Battle, Brian Chamano. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you Tulani Matal. Lady? Yeah, I like you. But your voice did change a little bit. You okay. went into your TV voice. Oh, thank you. I was smooth, okay. but no soul. No soul. You were acting out a presenting role. That's what I. Okay, it wasn't up. real. But it lacked soul, personality, okay. humanity. Ooh. You. A couple of tools missing but in you, the book. You <laughs> yeah. Here you go. It says here you write poetry? Yeah. Can you give us one poem? No. Oh, okay. So you don't write poetry. That, I was, do that write was just poetry. for the form. I was but, like, uh, this, this will look good. <laughs> no, I write poetry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just, um, it's something really personal. That I don't. Why tell us then if you don't want to share? Well, you asked. 
So. Okay. All right, well then, uh, give us what you put together then. Okay, thank you. Oh, is that personal? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Springbok 8th man Dwayne Vermeulen is known for being the hard man in the Bok pack. But I caught up with him and realized that there's a big teddy bear behind that tough exterior. I actually see him doing something in J-Bay, doing some surf contest or something. Sports presenting. Yeah, you're, like, you're kind of like a cool kid, like a beach guy, you know. Rebel. Thank you, guys. Jeannie has lost her voice, and I hear that you're a vocal coach. Yes. I need you. What advice would you give her? She's got no voice. Like it's kind of Well, usually people think that whispering helps you, but it actually just, it's worse than screaming at someone. Or just keep it in a monotone. Hi, I'm Jeannie D. Like you would not want me to do my interview. <laughs> Hi, I'm Azal, and welcome to the show. I Lizelle. like her. All right. So uh, give us what you've uh, prepared. Tonight we sit down and chat with Lizelle Diojo all the way from Bloemfontein, the newest member of the top billing family. Now she told us she's up for anything and everything, so we put her to the test, giving her an interview with a cast of Fifty Shades of Grey. Now you can imagine she was in Fifty Shades of Heaven. So in a very <laughs> monotone voice? An amazing personality. That's Thank that you. comes across very strongly and very Thank obviously. You. If I were to criticize, I just noticed that you do a little rhythm thing when yeah. you talk. This, and you kind of slouch over instead of stand tall and be proud. Girls with big chests. I started Girl? with a big one. Yes, Jeannie Double Girl. D. Um, That's something so if I, I need to... if I were to come in here, then you would think this is an audition for Baywatch or something. So I'm... Um, yeah, but I think I don't want to be like, hey, what's up? Here's the thing. The key is being confident in who you are and what yes, God gave you. Yes. And that's, that's actually what people want to see. When you're not confident, it comes across. Yes. But okay. your personality is amazing. You're, 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 you're ha happy in your own skin, at least as far as your personality. And that was great. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Next up, who will be king or queen of the callbacks? We bring you the jewels in the crowd. The We're back in PE, and could it be third time lucky for 22-year-old Masinga Rune? Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host for tonight, Masinga Rune. But for now, please do stay tuned, and we'll see you shortly. Ah, move! Look. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, well, I need to take a shower. I, I was really there to learn. Just wanted to make sure that I, I did the best that I could. Do stay tuned. This is Top Billing with a Good Life. 1547, closest to the time, well done. In 2010, Masinga made the top 20, but Basi made a reluctant judgment call. He was too young to go through. I've come to speak to Masinga. I'm very, very, very sad to have to inform you that you cannot be able to carry on with the top billing presenter search. You need to go and write him a trick and pass. All right. Television will always be here. Yeah. But South Africa needs educated young people. Okay, thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, I think Top Billing kind of validated where exactly I should be going in my career. Because I mean, like at 18, what do you know? You know, I could either focus on television um, or primarily just get my degree first and then after that I can just do whatever I want to do. Study. Right now, I'm completing my degree in politics and then I'm gonna push by force and fire to get back onto the screens. Back to school. Back to school. Back to school. I think there's someone in there now. Yeah. Your next step. I know. Are you back with a vengeance? Mm. And it feels like deja vu because it was like literally four years ago when yeah. I was, you know, with Jeannie. And now again, she hasn't seen me in four years or grown up with a beard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous. Did you grow the beard to make absolutely sure that the age thing wasn't a problem this time? Not even there's that. There's even a bit of grey in there, dude. Yeah, because I'm an old man. I'm an old man. I'm coming to pre point it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you? Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's happening here? Okay. What's going on here, man? How are you? How are you, man? I'm okay. I'm okay. Your boyfriend, what is that? No. That's cheating. Miss Singer was in the presenter search in 2010. I needed exceptionally well, but 2010 he was a little baby. And, and I hear that your voice was, hey, you were like, yeah, my singer, my voice. <laughs> is it true that your voice has gotten deeper since then? Yeah, for some weird reason. It just like started getting deeper and I was like, okay, cool. Do you like it or has it been traumatizing? I don't know, like, for some weird reason, my family hasn't even gotten used to it. Like, I'd wake up in the morning and, like, hey, mom, she'd be like, you? You know, it's like one of those things. <coughs> Literally, like... But is it still getting deeper? Like, has it stopped? I think it stopped now. Yeah, it's definitely stopped now. Okay. Yeah. Show us what you got. Okay. 
So SABC3, in collaboration with the Net Bank, is looking for you. If you at home think you've got what it takes to be the next present on South African television, oh well then, South Africa, the time to enter is now. You know what? I feel like your voice is sabotaging you, actually. How come? I, I notice your voice more than everything else. It seems to be bigger than you. Okay. I love him. You love him? No, he's got so much personality. He's got a really big personality. So, he... so that needs to come across more. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, man. All right, guys. Have a good day. You too. Thank you for everything. One day, one chance, and one wonderful opportunity. What better place to hold auditions than in an award-winning stadium named after South Africa's greatest icon, Nelson Mandela? Well, not being from Port Elizabeth myself, I thought I needed a tour guide. And who better to do that than Mr. P.E. himself? He's actually running on the beach over there. Hey! <laughs> Here he comes, need to be professional. Andre, yeah, how yourself? are you? Good in yourself? <laughs> so you lost your shirt along the way? Yeah, well, being in the Windy City is just a hazard, you know, it happens. Hey, nobody's complaining on this side, <laughs> me. You are Mr. P.E. What does that title mean to you? Well, it's not just the pageantry that a lot of people see. It's, there's a lot of ambassadorial skills and tasks left up to me, and they want me to be a role model for the kids. So something to look up to, really. Now, being the ambassador, I'm sure that there are places around PE that you love the most. Yeah, there are a lot of well-kept secrets, and uh, I'll show you along the way, but we'll take a run. Let's do it. Students, athletics coach, and fitness fiend Andre Ferri is more keen to show off the city than his form. Wow, Andre, I like this place. What do you love most about being here? Well, the view, to be honest, really. Uh, if you look up and down the coast, you can see many sites that PE has to offer. Uh, down that way, you've got uh, something good. Which is a revamped roadhouse. They've got you know old school drive-in movies happening there. If you look out this way, you can see the harbour and the new industrial harbour. Oh, there's also the Donkin Memorial and the, the South African flag, which is huge from here. And then the beach, it's fantastic. And Shark Rock Pier looks like a great place to just clear your mind and rejuvenate. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, people come here all the time. I spend quite a lot of time here myself, just come to see the sights and clear the head a bit. Fitness is very important to you. You have been on stage with Mr. P.E. Do you think those elements are going to give you the confidence that you need for the presenter search? I feel like that definitely is the case. As long as you feel comfortable with yourself and in your own skin, uh, it's more easy for you to project that to other people. Well, Andre, we wish you all the best. And uh, while you're at it, uh, take care of those abs for us, will you? Well, thanks. I'll do my best. <laughs> cool. Greetings. So you are Mr. P.E. That is what I've been told. You yes. have the keys to the city. Not so much keys yet, I'm still pining for those, we'll see what happens. What does that mean, being Mr. P.E.? I am, in essence, uh, the male ambassador for the city. And uh, I understand that you're a fitness freak, you do CrossFit and stuff like that? Yeah, I've mm -hmm. got the band to prove it. Get out of here. <laughs> you can see his forearms. You the tummy to prove that you do CrossFit, yeah, you got not a six the band. Pack. Yeah, can we see your six-pack? <laughs> Jeannie wants again. me to ask. All right, there you go. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so, uh, Andre, give it to us, man. What have you got? Okay, down in Nelson Mandela Bay. Uh, oh, bless him. <laughs> bless him. Down in Nelson Mandela Bay, they'll either blow you away with their weather or embrace you with their warm, friendly demeanor. It might not be the perfect place, but they have an abundance of well-hidden treasures. But at the end of the day, they're definitely a diamond in the rough that could use a polish. Because you are very good looking and you've got a big presence, I expected a lot more, but instead you made yourself small while you were doing your leg. Look, what I picked up was that you were not confident, not comfortable. There's no passion. You're not telling me something. You're rem mm. reminding yourself to, mm. you know. I'm shooting myself in the foot so badly, yeah. No, don't shoot yourself. It's not over. You're not dead. You're still alive. No. You can go do CrossFit, come back again. <laughs> Thank you so anyway, much, thanks, man. thanks, guys. Uh, Andre. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Did it, how did it go? Um, you know the saying, shooting yourself in the foot? Oh. I unloaded multiple rounds into my foot. <laughs> So it's out of my hands now. Yeah. Guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, it definitely wasn't what I would have liked it to mm. have been. So, you know, I think the nerves got the better of me and I hit a blank. She's cool, down a ramp, and sensational in a sash. 19 year old Michaela Oersthaisen won Miss S18 in 2010 and is ready for a leading role. Winning the title of Miss S18 at such a young age, turning 15, just a few days after winning the title was such an amazing privilege and was just the most immense amount of fun I've ever had in my life. So it is the auditions today and I'm extremely excited, but before that happens, I've got quite a bit of varsity work to do, so I'm going to be focusing on that, getting ready, getting my morning cup of coffee, and then it's off to the auditions at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. 
can't prepare for my audition without my morning cup of coffee. I do have an acting scholarship to New York Film Academy that I'm very blessed with. And as part of my audition, we had to do quite a number of very strange warming up techniques. It's always important to loosen those vocals and get ready to talk. There's a few very strange ones. <laughs> Talking and communicating and interacting with people and sharing those experiences are really my passion. And so winning this whole competition will just be the ultimate dream come true. Good morning. Michaela. Yes. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very excited to be here. I actually saw her coming in. I saw your mom drop you off on my window. Indeed. Yeah. So you're, you're scouting me a bit beforehand. Absolutely. I had my eyes on you early. Did you see me hyperventilating as I you entered the building? You did look nervous, eh? You, I was You didn't a hug your mom. You didn't say goodbye. You're a little bit cold. Really? Yeah. yeah your I, mom did, was just... I, did the, I did the wave. She's, yeah. She makes me a little bit nervous sometimes. She's very right. excited for me. So. Are you nervous now? Um, I am. All right. Well, look, don't be nervous. Okay. Surprise us. Okay. Good evening. After winning the title of Sun International's Miss S18 in 2010, making me the youngest title holder ever, as well as the first to come from Port Elizabeth, I continue to pursue various opportunities in the entertainment industry. I think you're absolutely beautiful. Thank and you. Have a, a lot of maturity. Thank you very age. much. Very stunning. I like to look well done. Thank you so much. You came across beautifully on camera. Thank you. Like, it felt like you were on a Miss SA stage talking to judges as opposed to connecting with a, a viewer at home. So a bit more personal. Yeah, so I think uh, that whole Miss, Miss yes. SA or Miss SA team yes. thing is like, you know, it's got so a little, hold just on relax you. Yeah. a little bit. Tomza, <laughs> Bonte, how yes. are you? I am very well. Yeah? It's not all right. So why do you want to do TV? Well, I if the face doesn't say it, well, I think I've got the voice. I'm kidding. Oh, you I'm think kidding. you've got the looks for TV? <laughs> I've got the face I'm for kidding. TV. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it's always, been, it's always been a passion of mine. A part, of course, I mean, hence I'm doing program directing and events coordinating. I've always liked uh, yeah. the spotlight. All right, give us what you've got today. While many argue that the entertainment industry is in danger of losing, it's just business owner, entertainer, and... Oh, okay, can I start? <laughs> if you make a mistake, keep going. Just improvise and keep going. Okay. Business owner, entertainer, DJ Smoo shows us exactly why he begs to differ as he launches his latest project, the Entertainment Empowerment Campaign. Thank you. Oh, she likes to flirt with the camera. <laughs> flirt? I was getting excited there. I was like, she's talking to me. I, well, I don't know if I speak for Jeannie, but I'm looking for more of your personality as well. You're very flirtatious, that I picked up, which is really cool. Your voice was very good, but you, your link wasn't entirely focused, but I mean... Yeah, the fact that, you know, you, you, you kept going, and I love the way that you play with the camera. We, yeah, we're, we're having a lucky day today. I Definitely. think we'll be finished in five minutes. <laughs> P.E. is cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Cherise. Hello. How are you? I see you keep looking at Jeannie, eh? I know, right? <laughs> uh, what is it about Jeannie? I don't know. I Everybody's think been it's ignoring me. Gorgeous. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, she's so she's very cool. I mean, you're pretty beautiful yourself. Oh, she stuttered it. She had to pause and think about this. She's like, you're pretty I wasn't thinking about it. Pretty. No. That was me stuttering because I was so nervous to get it out. Like, I could I just could go. So let's see what you've got. Tonight we go to Mauritius, deep sea fishing, and take to the skies to Las Vegas' very own London Eye, appropriately named the High Roller. From beautiful beach sunrises to a gorgeous evening on the Las Vegas Strip, you'll see it all tonight. Yeah. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it was so sweet. But you're so chilled. She's so pee. Like, yeah, man, I got I love it. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I liked it. You were natural, but um, you were a little bit, I don't know, a little bit, not withdrawn, but a little yeah. bit uh, P.E. <laughs> <laughs> Are you very uh, sarcastically blasé? Yeah. Blase. Um, you're right. You know, it's almost like you're a Bollywood surfer chick. <laughs> and that's the best way I can describe it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I quite like that, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My radio girl, Sharice, how are you? How did it go? Um, I don't actually know. I got. <laughs> it was so cute, though. Yeah. I got, I am Bollywood surfer. Oh, I don't know what wow. that means. 
Listen here, mm -hmm. I'm hoping for you as well. There's somebody who really wanted to meet you yes. because he was blown away by your masterpieces. All right, look Just at the that. lady I've been looking for. Apparently, you're <laughs> responsible for dressing my future wife. I am, yes. You're going to be a very happy man. I, well, I've seen a sneak peek and I was a very happy man. I wow. stumbled over my words, I was so happy. <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words right now because I don't know. Was that a proposal? I oh, think was it a was. Proposal? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it happened on TV. It I don't know what real. to say. <laughs> Is that a yes? Or is that... I think I think well, it's let's a... hope you get a yes as well, so <laughs> we can both celebrate. Coming up, Algoa Bay is big on talent, but has it produced the gems? The top three finalists are revealed. Flymango.com. Why not today? It was all quiet on the core back front outside, but inside, the tension was running high. Who will make it to the national top 30? And who will return to life as it was? It's time to reveal the best of the best. Guys, deep breath. Congratulations. Everyone here can be very proud for even making it this far in the competition. They've done all that they can do, and now it's time for our judges to decide who goes through to the top 30. Judges? Well, Jeannie can't speak, so I'll do the talking for both of us. You all made it! No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, you all did make it, because there were hundreds and hundreds of other contestants, and you guys made it this far, so nobody's a loser, all right? We're going to pick three of you. Three. Seems like I dropped a bombshell. All right, so are you guys ready? All right. Our first contestant to make it to the next round is none other than... Pumza Bunche. Hey! She can't even walk, look at her! She's strutting. When they just, you know, gave me the name, I was like, what? I'm, I'm excited. Honestly, I'm thrilled. I'm ecstatic. There's many synonyms as they are for happy. I'm, I'm joyous. I'm happy. Our second contestant to make it through to the next round is... Michaela Oosthuizen. I'm so excited, so happy to be chosen. Very proud to, to get to this moment and excited for everything to come. So now there's only one more. It wasn't an easy decision because PE, you guys surprised us. You guys brought it. The question is who brought it the most? It was Masinga Spelele. Yo. Feeling very Nervous, very excited. Again, it's like deja vu because I have to now go back and do the groundwork for the competition and just get myself revived and remember all the tricks and the trades and yeah. Congratulations to all three of you. Applause to everyone. You guys all did great. Big round of applause. Hold your head up. Congratulations to our finalists representing Port Elizabeth and making it through to the top 30. Durban, next week the spotlight's on you and we cannot wait to see what you're going to bring. Yeah! Woo! While the winners will go on to launch their careers as presenters, two lucky NetBank account holders stand a chance of enjoying a luxury holiday for two in exotic Zanzibar with 25,000 rand spending money from NetBank and flights courtesy of Mango. Just SMS the keyword DREAMS and send a short creative message describing your idea of a dream island experience to 33728. That's 33728. SMS what your dream island experience is to 33728 to enter this competition and make things that really matter happen. Samsung Galaxy A. When life calls, answer.